this is an update and technical analysis on Ethereum. This is the hourly, which kind of represented an hour. I had this primary downtrend line in my previous video off the April highs. Plenty of reaction to validate it. Sort of put in this cup and handle looking formation. We did have that pop out. I had alerted uh, my channel that we had a breakout off this primary downtrend line. Came back down. What really uh, went and tested that 308880 80 resistance and knocked it to the button. So if you were long, you could have taken the uh, you know taken these key levels and uh, sold right at that moment. If not, shorted right off of that moment, and um, you know you would have took it down here for uh, you know a good 1.7% uh, scalp. You know, and then you could have went long, played it to the upside again. Both I, I had mentioned in my previous video that a uh, back test of this uh, primary downtrend line would offer an objective entry long, and what really what we did was we consolidated here. You'd have taken that. Uh, and look, we actually had back tested it to the button right there. Took it all the way up uh, to my uh, second target off that 31.2783 price support. That was good for a 3% scalp there. And really, what's going on right now, in my opinion, again, this is near term stuff off the hourly. Uh, so it's a very shorter time frame. And really, we've got this cup and handle looking uh, consolidation here. And uh, I, I believe a break to the upside, and especially taking out that 31.2783 price resistance would uh take out some uh, more shorts and uh all while putting in a uh a golden cross here off the 58 50 and 200 hourly moving average and uh again that would just uh strengthen the bullish case for uh an ever more upside uh, more of a break to the upside uh up to my next target of that 31 58 40 uh, price resistance uh would be an objective uh uh, entry short also as well again these are resistance levels resistance become support when taken out and vice versa but uh that's these are my uh you know key levels here and uh, they have worked out to the t uh, and uh again they they have uh been a great map here came back back test that consolidated for a little while shot back up got rejected to the button right at that 3127 came back out you could have bought right here at that 3088 price resistance and look at we just can we have been consolidated consolidating since and uh that's what uh bulls want to see a uh confirmation of this cup and handle uh, pattern and that's what bears want to see a break of that 3088 back down to uh retest that 200 hourly moving average we'll zoom out here on the uh, four hour time frame each candle represents four hour and really what's a little bit more significant off this uh, four hour time frame is the puncturing of the uh, MACD off the zero lines and oscillator and again clearest day is a breakout came back tested I had mentioned in my previous video that was a key 50 percent retracement fibs at that 30 34 75 price support and uh, again we have just blasted to the upside off of back testing who knows we could back test it again retest it and uh, again the bullish case scenario I would favor that 32 38 uh, 618 retracement if you're bullish Again, we could just uh, get rejected here as well, and anything's possible off the daily that changes here as well is, uh, look, we're starting to potentially get that crossover off the MACD, and uh, that that will all also further strengthen the bullish case here, and a uh, solid close right back up above, and I had mentioned previously that 3060.15 price uh, support is a pretty big level. Look, we knocked on it, got rejected all week last week, and now we've officially broken up to the upside and uh, looking at that first uh, 32, 33, 56 target, 33, 90. And again, these are all short op, short ops as well. You know, these are resistant lines to take uh, short positions off of 36, 55, 75 and 40, 74, 81. So we'll see what happens and uh, keep you updated when I see uh, some new uh, significant development.